So here's how we make our Traeger smoked meatloaf recipe that's always juicy and tender and never dries out. The secret is to make everything in a cast iron skillet. So all you do is you prep the bacon wrap meatloaf for, for smoking. So you combine um, the beef mixture by adding some eggs, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, diced bread, heavy cream, onion, garlic, salt and pepper in a bowl. And you whisk all that together until combined. It's kind of like it's going to smell like Big Mac sauce. Um, it's so delicious. It really smells good. It's a bunch of weird things together, but trust me on this. So you whisk all that together until combined, and then it's time to add in the ground beef mixture. Um, it's all gonna get super juicy as it cooks, which is why you're using the cast iron skillet, because actually a lot of juices are gonna come out, but instead of losing them to the smoking and just sending them right into that, um, that liquid pan in your Traeger smoker, instead of that, it's gonna be cooking in its own juices. So tasty. All right, so it looks so weird, but instead of using breadcrumbs, we use diced bread chunks. That's a tip that my husband has from his restaurant, Chefy Days. And so then you add in the ground beef mixture. You don't wanna over mix it at this point. The goal is to mix everything together until it's just combined. And then it's time to form your smoked meatloaf patty. So use a large cast iron skillet. This one's about 12 inches diameter. Put it all in there, make a really large log looking shape with the beef. And then it's time to add in the bacon. So we usually start by um, just adding strips of bacon in a flat layer. Make sure they overlap just a little bit so there's no, um, so they're like totally encompassing all of the juicy ground beef flavor as it smokes. So just go ahead and about one pack of one pound of bacon is gonna totally cover the meatloaf. And then just gently tuck in the edges so they overlap underneath. And then you're ready to pop the smoked meatloaf into the Traeger at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we prepped this earlier and then smoked it later, so you saw it went in the fridge. Um, we've been using a lot of hickory pellets lately. It's really good for beef. Gives it a lot of delicious flavor. So this smokes partially at 250 degrees Fahrenheit until it reaches about 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it's time to layer on some barbecue sauce. Just brush it right on in there in the smoker and let it smoke until the internal temperature of the meatloaf reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Use an internal read thermometer to measure that. And so you just finished smoked meatloaf by removing it from the juicy pan. It's very tender, but it's gonna harden up a bit as it cools. So transfer it to a wire rack so it can cool and the juices can fall out if they need to. And then once it's a little bit more stable, give it like 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, cut it up, slice it into two to three inch segments and serve with a little extra barbecue sauce if you want. This is such a great recipe. We pair it with things like smoked mac and cheese all the time. You can get all of these smoker recipes at Sip Bite Go. Well, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers.